Good morning, saints. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. This is a day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah, glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, Jesus. Glory to you, Lord God. Hallelujah, worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. Yes, the King, yes, the King, you are so cool, yes, the King, yes, the King, yes, the King, you are so cool, yes, the King, you are so cool, yes, the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is letting me know that some people are being held back because of guilt and shame that they are holding. Hallelujah. So we will be praying against that this morning. Hallelujah. Give your life. Hallelujah. Give your heart to Christ on today. Surrender your will to him. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. He is good. He is merciful. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Glory to you, Jesus. Glory and honor to you, Jesus. Yes, the king, yes, the queen, yes, the king, yes, the king, yes, the queen. Yes, the king, yes, the king, yes, the queen, yes, the king, 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 Hallelujah, bless us, keep us, Lord God, guide us. Hallelujah, have your way in our lives. We surrender our wills to yours, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We come before you, Lord God, with love and humility, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, forgive us of all sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us, Lord. You are our strength and our redeemer. We give you praise on today, Lord God, because you are magnificent. You are glorious. You are holy. You are the great I am. Hallelujah. We need you on today, Lord God. Lord God, pour fresh oil on us today, Lord God. Hallelujah. Cleanse us, Lord God. Pour your fresh holy oil on us, Lord God. Hallelujah. May we be empowered, hallelujah, to be renewed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we're casting our cares upon you today because you care for us, Lord God. We love and adore you. We worship your holy name. Hallelujah. Father God, hallelujah, I decree and declare that we lay down, hallelujah, the heavy weight of doubt, shame, guilt, and embarrassment, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we release the past so that we can step into the future with pure intentions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that we all are capable of moving beyond our mistakes. We are not stuck in the name of Jesus. Like the Lord says, we're pressing forward to the upward calling in Christ Jesus. We are able to heal from the hurt and pain of what we have caused. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And even, hallelujah, what other people have caused in our life. We are able to move forward. We are able to heal and to grow and to move forward. We are worthy of all compassion and kindness that life offers us. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And we forgive ourselves, hallelujah. We forgive ourselves. We love ourselves and we forgive ourselves. Hallelujah. Each and every day, hallelujah, we walk in forgiveness. Each and every day, we forgive ourselves. Just as each and every day, we forgive others. Lord God, I decree and declare that we gently release the grip of anger and rage from our bodies. 
Hallelujah. We release, hallelujah, anger and rage from our bodies in Jesus' name. Father, even if we have to go somewhere and scream it out, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, and scream out our frustrations and anger, may we all release, hallelujah, our hurt, our anger, hallelujah, and our rage. You said that we could be angry, but not to sin. So it's not sinful to be angry, but it's how we handle our anger. And we release our anger. We don't only give it to you, Father, but we scream it out. We yell it out. We write it out. Hallelujah. And we release it. We don't hold it in. We don't cover it up. We don't put it under a rug. Hallelujah. But we release it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that we set our past free and we forgive our participation in any sins mm -hmm. or any mm -hmm. wrongdoings. And we set the past free of anyone, hallelujah, who have participated in any wrongdoings and hurt to us, Father. Hallelujah. Lord God, we give our um, past to you. We give up the hope of a different past by accepting our true past. Sometimes we make a mistake and we get stuck, Lord God, by beating ourselves up over mistakes that we have made and keep wishing for a different outcome or different um, situation, Lord God. But may we accept the decisions that were made, whether they were imperfect decisions or wrong decisions, Lord God, and help us, Lord God, to accept it, Father, and to move past it. Father, I decree and declare that we put our present and future decisions based on love and good intentions, hallelujah, by your will, that we're operating in your will, hallelujah, and that you help us, Lord God, we're putting it in your hands, help us to walk in love and good intentions in all that we do. Father, we trade our anger and rage for understanding and compassion. I decree and declare that we put on understanding, that we put on compassion, compassion for ourselves, compassion for others, Lord God. Hallelujah. Father, we accept that we did the best that we could at the time and what we knew. We operate by what we know. And Father, even at moments when some of us haven't tried to make the right decision, Lord God, and we knew better, help us to also release that and forgive us for those things, Lord God, for sins knowingly and unknowingly, Lord God. We're putting it all in your hands. We have the courage to heal and to become whole again. And it's by your stripe that we are healed, not only physically, Lord God, supernaturally, emotionally, intellectually, hallelujah, psychologically, Lord God, we, hallelujah, are whole, hallelujah, to our original state that God has called us to be in. I decree and declare that, Father, you that we treat ourselves with respect and kindness from this day forward. Hallelujah. You said in your word that you want us to love ourselves. And a lot of people stop because they're so quick to run to love others. And people are afraid that loving yourself is selfish, but it's not. It's just only when we love ourselves that we're able to love other people. The love we have for ourselves, we're able to love other people. When we hate ourselves, we're not open to love others. So, Father, may we treat ourselves with the love, respect, and kindness from this day forward. I decree and declare that we forgive others as we forgive ourselves with ease, sincerity, and loving compassion. That we forgive people quickly, Lord God. That we don't hold on for days and days and days, Lord God. But that we release them and let it go. Even if it was painful, Lord God, that we don't hold on to it. That we don't rehearse the pain that we don't rehearse the memories lord god that we learn and grow 
if a memory do show up, but it has no power over us to keep us stuck mentally, emotionally, psychologically. I decree and declare that we take steps toward greater growth. We take steps, hallelujah, to moving forward. We are willing to live, hallelujah, with all of who God created us to be. Hallelujah. We are willing to live, hallelujah, in the goodness of the Lord. I decree and declare that we are capable of loving all that who we are, who we are in Christ. As we love our Father, our Heavenly Father, He teaches us who we are, and we are capable of loving ourselves, every part of us. We are not perfect. And we will love ourselves just as you've created us, Father. We lean, we lean and depend on you, Lord God. I decree and declare that we go with the flow that life brings us. That we walk in the direction of Christ. Hallelujah. That we're not hard on ourselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not hard on ourselves in this life. I decree and declare that we grow more patient and understanding of others. Hallelujah. And forgiving ourselves. Hallelujah. We will forgive ourselves. We walk in forgiveness. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that we let go of all self-judgment and self-sabotage. That we don't self-sabotage ourselves. And that we don't judge ourselves harshly, Lord God. When we do judge ourselves and we say oh maybe we should do things a certain way is to learn and grow but it's not to beat ourselves up and to think of ourselves as less than and unworthy we think of ourselves as how we can get better but we do not think of ourselves as we're the worst things in the world or what we we're such horrible people we're such horrible human beings we have, may have made some horrible mistakes, but we get back up again and we say, Lord, take us, heal us, keep us, forgive us, help us forgive, help us to be better in all that we do. I decree and declare that we melt mm -hmm. into an ocean of love and forgiveness. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As this picture starts to show how the uh, parts of the sea and the ocean. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We melt into an ocean of love and forgiveness for ourselves and others. That means even deeper, deeper. As deep as the ocean, that's how much we love. And deep as the ocean is how much we forgive. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. I decree and declare that we grow stronger and better as we forgive ourselves and we move forward. I decree and declare that we forgive ourselves so that we can have inner peace again. I decree and declare that we forgive others that we may have peace. We can only share our gift with the world if we forgive ourselves, if we love ourselves. God's created us to share ourselves and our gifts to the world. So I decree and declare that each and every one of us on today that we're working hallelujah, on our healing. Hallelujah. That we may be imperfect people, but we are worthwhile. We are worthy of love. We are worthy of understanding. We are worthy of healing. We are worthy of happiness. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that we have value. That we realize what our value and worth is. We have a value and worth. And we know what our value and worth is. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that we can love ourselves and accept our past. And we move beyond the past. 
I decree and declare that we are worthwhile people exactly as God intended us to be. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that we are finding our integrity, that we're walking in integrity, that we are people of integrity. Hallelujah. Each and every day, we are making steps toward being people of integrity. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that we are worthy of love and acceptance as we are. Hallelujah. Know that you are worthy of love and acceptance. It doesn't matter who rejected you. It doesn't matter if people told you you wasn't worthy. I decree and to declare today that we choose to live in the moment. That we do not live in the past. You know, the Bible talks about Lot's wife and how she looked back at the past and that was something she longed for. It was something that she was familiar with. It was some place that she didn't even, she really did not want to leave. And that's what happens to us. We end up dying spiritually, emotionally, just dying spiritually and emotionally not really moving forward not moving forward at all being stagnant and being stuck because that's how it was for Lot's wife she was stuck when she became a pillar of salt she wasn't able to move forward she wasn't able to receive the blessings of God she wasn't able to go to the place of safety. Why? Because her direction, she wasn't facing the direction she was supposed to head in. She was looking in the past. So I decree and declare that our past actions do not define us in our present moment. And in the present, our past actions, our past decisions, our past mistakes. It doesn't define us. We're all human and make mistakes. But it doesn't make us horrible people. And even if we have done the most horrible and horrific thing that we could think of on this whole entire planet, we are still capable of being forgiven forgiven by Jesus we are able to give and receive love I decree and declare hallelujah that we respect the boundaries of others and father may we set healthy boundaries ourselves we respect the boundaries of others and we hallelujah define our own boundaries I decree and declare, Father, that we have a healthy support system. A healthy support system for, um, from others. Father, we have done bad things, but we are not bad people. Hallelujah. We are created in your image. And we receive forgiveness from you. We receive forgiveness from those who haven't asked for forgiveness. We forgive ourselves. As many of us really did not know better. Many of us are not really aware of what we do unless the Holy Spirit awakens us. That's why it's important for us to stay prayerful in His presence and reading His Word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I decree and declare that it's okay for us to talk to others about what we're thinking and feeling. And I thank you, Father, that you bless us with safe people, hallelujah, to talk with. I decree and declare that we're all letting go of our shame, that we are fully present today. I decree and declare that we heal and forgive ourselves for the harms that we've caused. 
We are better people each and every day. We are becoming better people today. And we are becoming better, hallelujah, day by day. I decree and declare that we're able to ask for and accept help when we need it without feeling ashamed. That when we're feeling encouragement, when we're confessing our sins to each other, that we um, that we are strengthened. And may those who listen be moved with compassion. I decree and declare today I choose to reach out to others before I act in my addictions before I fall into sin I decree and declare that we have compassion for ourselves and others that we are happy living our life one day at a time walking side by side with the most high I decree and declare that we're striving for progress progression and not perfection we are living a better life today than yesterday. I decree and declare that we are making positive changes in our lives one step at a time. Today our heart is clean. Hallelujah. We lay it all on the feet of Jesus. We pick up our cross and we follow him. We surrender our lives each and every day. We surrender our hearts, our minds, our will, our emotion, hallelujah, to the will of the Heavenly Father. We are not our own, but we are bought at a price, hallelujah. I decree and declare that we are fearless and rigorously honest in all aspects of our life. That we're people of integrity, that we're walking in honesty. That we have an open heart, hallelujah. I decree and declare that our outward failures are learning opportunities and they no longer dishearten us. Our outward failures, we're not hard on ourselves. Lord God, all those seeds that were planted in us, whether it's from childhood or adulthood or whenever, Father, all those seeds that were spoken over our lives of people being hard on us, whether it's our parents, our caregivers, our teachers, or people we looked up to, Father. Those who were hard on us, Lord God. Father, we cancel those seeds now in the name of Jesus. We uproot them. We uproot everything that was spoken over us. Every seed, everything that has grown. We curse everything to the root, hallelujah, that was planted in our hearts and spoken over us. Lord God, we cancel those assignments now in the name of Jesus, that we no longer live in those, that those who were hard on us, we turned around and became hard on ourselves. So Father, I speak right now that we're not even hard on ourselves, hallelujah, on our mistakes and failures, Lord God, but Father, we're learning from those things and we do not walk around with our head held down and disheartened. You said in your word, there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. I decree and declare that we're not walking around condemned, condemning ourselves and allowing others to condemn us. I decree and declare that we are living a life of integrity. Today we are living our values. Negative feelings are just feelings. They don't last. And we have control over them by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. And the word of our testimony. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that we honor who we are. That we are worth loving. We are worth being loved. There is love all around us. Jesus loves us. Our heavenly creator, God the Father, loves us. He loves us. And he found us to be worthy. He found us to be worthy of love. He know that we are not perfect. And he know that we have sinful natures. And he still loves us. He loves us so much 
that he's made a way, hallelujah, for us through Jesus Christ, that he came down, hallelujah, to die on the cross for our sins, and he rose again on the third day. That is good news. Hallelujah. How many of us can say that someone loved us so much they was willing to die for us? And even if we did find someone like that, we can't say that they're able to save our souls from eternal death. He loves us so much that he wants us. He wants us with him. He wants a relationship with us. <laughs> God Almighty, the creator of everything, wants a relationship with us. That's a big deal. And that's love. He operates in love. God is love. He loves you. You are worthy. We are worthy of love. We are worthy. Let's embrace that. Some of us haven't been loved correctly. Let's embrace that we are loved. We are beloved of Christ Jesus. I decree and declare that we are recovering and healing, hallelujah, from our own mistakes. Hallelujah. We are healing from the mistakes of others and what they've done, but we're healing from our own mistakes. I decree and declare that we are enough. We are the right people in the right place at the right time. We are the right friends. We are the right family members. Some of those who are black sheep, sometimes we're black sheep because we spoke the truth and because we are, um, we break the curses of generations. So the enemy will try to make you feel like a black sheep and it may seem like family members turn against you, but the truth is you're marching to a beat of your own drum and no longer wanting to live the dysfunction that is within the family. So God used you to be that breaker, to break those generational curses. So you are the right person, at the right place, at the right time, in the right family. I decree and declare that we choose to be ourselves, and we choose to be happy with who we are. I decree and declare that none of us try to imitate other people. Hallelujah, to feel worthy, liked, and accepted, or loved. That our own personalities, that we ourselves, we are enough. We are just the way we are, just the way we are, we are worthy. I decree and declare that we believe in ourselves. We believe in our abilities and the gifts that God has given us. And all our gifts don't have to be the same. It doesn't have to be spectacular or this big thing. But the gift that God gives us, we may have the gift of hospitality. We may have the gift to listen to others. To be great at listening, hallelujah, to other people. To be a great listening ear, hallelujah. But we believe in ourselves and our abilities. Today I decree and declare that we will do small things with great love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We decree and declare that if there's any addictions that any of us have, hallelujah, that we cut those things out and that God helps and cure us, that we're healed within so that we will not use those things, hallelujah, to supplement or to fill the voids. Our mistakes, our addictions, nothing inside of us that needs to be healed, it's, it's not our final destination. We are taking a journey and we're taking a journey in this life to heal, to grow, to develop and to become better people. And I decree and declare that we receive hallelujah recovery that works, hallelujah, and we work it. We walk it. That we don't hang our heads down and that we won't wallow, hallelujah, in being discouraged or feeling the hurt and pain. But that we will 
And we will not suppress it, but we will release it and we will move forward. With effort and with recovery, we are worth it. We are responsible for our efforts, hallelujah, to overcome. We're not responsible for the mistakes, but we are responsible, holy, for the effort. Holy, we're responsible for the mistakes that we make, but we're not responsible, hallelujah, for some of the outcome that happens. But what we are responsible for is the effort to do the right thing and to become better people. Hallelujah. So I decree and declare that we are stronger than our sins. We're stronger than our addictions. We're stronger than we know. We're stronger than our mistakes. Hallelujah. We love ourselves. We like ourselves. I decree and declare that happiness is within us. It is within our hearts. We walk in happiness. Our life belongs to Jesus. Our life belongs to us. We are responsible for our lives. But we are not, hallelujah, our mistakes. We are not our addictions. We are not what people, how people perceive us. We are not like anything that negative comes our way and try to distort the image of God that is in us. Hallelujah. We will not pay attention to those things. We will not put those things on a pedestal and we will not believe that those things are true. I decree and declare that we appreciate and cherish the true us more and more each day. We are happy people. We are peaceful people. Hallelujah. We are strong people. We are healthy people. We make healthy decisions. We have healthy habits. I decree and declare that we are capable of having healthy relationships with others. If there's any of us who need to be healed, hallelujah, from past relationships, past friendships, even in our families, when we've had some dysfunctional family situations, I decree and declare that we're healed from those things and that we are having healthier friendships, relationships, healthier families. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said the enemy came to kill, steal, and destroy. But he came that we may have life. And that more abundantly. I decree and declare that we are living the abundant life. Not just financially, but mentally, emotionally, psychologically. And health, in our health, our strength. We are capable of healthy relationships. Hallelujah. I decree and declare our spirit is healing. Today, we are walking the right path. Hallelujah. We are living as God intended for us to live. Hallelujah. All our problems have a solution. And guess what? Jesus is the, the solution and the problem solver. And we give it all to him. We trust and believe in our problem solver, our heaven, heavenly father, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I decree and declare that we are proud of ourselves. And not a sense of pride, proud, but proud as in it is nothing wrong with celebrating ourselves. It is nothing wrong with being proud of ourselves, proud of our accomplishments, proud of our growth. It is nothing wrong with that. It's the most beautiful thing. When God says pride, he's talking about a sense of arrogancy where you think that you're better than or you think that you can outwit God or you ignore God because you feel like you have a better answer. That's what he's talking about, pride. But being proud that you, you're you making accomplishments, that's a good thing. I decree and declare that we deserve to be happy, healed, that we're, we are, we deserve, hallelujah, to be whole. We deserve to be free. We are free. We are free from all addictions and, and sins. We are free. Jesus has set us free and we will walk in that freedom. We will not walk in bondage again we will not walk in bondage we are set free 
We are set free spiritually. We will not walk in bondage. We will not walk in the bondage, the bondage of sin. We can and we will walk and be free people. We are free people. Today we have a choice. Holy, and we choose happiness, love, joy, peace, understanding, gentleness, self-control. Hallelujah. We choose Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that we can not only reach out to you, but we can also reach out to brothers and sisters in Christ who are safe and who are emotionally healthy to handle and pray with us and for us. We thank you, Lord God, for all these things in the mighty name of Jesus. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. We appreciate you. We appreciate you, Lord. You are our life source. You're the lifter of our head. You're our strong tower. You help us not to walk in guilt and shame. You do want us to be aware of our sins. But you don't want us to be in bondage because of the mistakes that we've made. We thank you, Lord God, for your grace. Your grace is sufficient. Thank you for your grace in our lives. We love you so much for it, Father. We worship and honor you. We give you the glory and praise. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If there's anyone out there who want to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and rose again from the third day. Rose again from the dead on the third day. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and into my life. I want to trust you, hallelujah, and follow you as my Lord and Savior. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hallelujah. God is so good. He is so wonderful. Hallelujah. He is such a loving and caring God. Hallelujah. So walk in your freedom. And freedom, not to freedom to sin, but walk in freedom. Have peace. Walk in power and dominion in Christ Jesus. Because we are more than mere men. Hallelujah. We have Jesus living inside of us. Hallelujah. We are His and He is ours. Hallelujah. Know that God loves you. Read your word. Pray. Hallelujah. Be encouraged. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, know that the angels are rejoicing and God is rejoicing. I love you. Jesus loves you more. And until next time, God bless you.